Greetings for the day. My name is Likit Kotian from Worknew. I hope all are doing great. In this video, I will explain five important problems in error spotting, which is an essential chapter under verbal ability. If you are preparing for your placements, then you will find this video very useful. If you have not watched our other videos on the aptitude series, please check out the videos after watching this video. The link is in the description. As the name indicates, error spotting is basically finding the error in the given statement. Sounds simple, right? But to identify the error, you should be familiar with some basic grammar rules like tenses, subject verb agreement, prepositions, articles, etc. If you consider the question structure, the statement will be divided into parts and the error will be in one of the parts. Each piece of the sentence will be labeled with a letter. You must select the letter representing the statement's part with the error. If there is no error in the statement, then the last option, that is no error, is the answer. Without any further ado, let's solve the first exercise. Sushant's father had left for Guwahati last Saturday. If you find an error in the first part, Sushant's father, option A is the answer. Or if there is any error in the piece had left, Option B is the answer. If the error is in part 4 Guwahati, then option C is the answer. Or if the part last Saturday has a mistake, then the answer is option D. And if you think there is no error at all, then option E, that is no error, is the answer. Pause the video for a while and try to find the answer. You may also post your answer in the comment section if you have identified the error. Now let's see what the answer is. The correct answer is option B, that is, in part, had left. The correct sentence would be, Sushant's father left for Guwahati last Saturday. The reason is improper use of tenses. The sentence is in simple past and we cannot use had in the simple past tense. Had is used when the sentence is in the past perfect tense. For example, if the statement was, Sushant's father had left for Guwahati before his son came home, then that is the correct sentence. How to identify this? I'll tell you a simple way to remember this. If you are talking about two past events, one took place before the other, use had to describe the first event. If you are just talking about one event in the past, then no need to use had. If you think that the error might be in option C, that is instead of for Guwahati, if it is to Guwahati, then it is wrong. Let's consider Suma left to pick up the groceries. This is correct because here, after left to, it is an action that is happening. If there is no action after left to, we have to use for. Like in this question, it is left for Guwahati, where Guwahati is not an action. So the correct option for the first question is option B. Okay, let's see how to solve the second problem. The decline in the fortunes of the esteemed royal family of Rajpur are a direct consequence of the refusal of the members of the family to look for jobs in independent India. Pause the video for a while and see if there is any mistake. If you have identified the error, you may type the mistake in the comment section. Okay, so now let's see the answer to this question. The correct answer is option B, that is in the part, esteemed royal family of Rajpur are a direct consequence. The error here is in the verb are, also called the auxiliary verb. According to the subject and verb agreement, the verb should agree with the subject, that is, if the subject is singular, the verb should be singular. If the subject is plural, then verb should also be plural. For example, if you consider the sentence, Arav's biggest problem is the many sleepless nights. This sentence cannot be written as Arav's biggest problem are the many sleepless nights. Here the verb is is and its tense depends on the subject. In this sentence, the subject is Arav's biggest problem. If you ask me how to find the subject, just ask what or whom is the sentence about. Here we are talking about Arav's biggest problem. That is why it is a subject. Now is the subject singular or plural? 
obviously it is singular if the subject was arav's biggest problem and his biggest issue then it is plural in this example since the subject is singular and as per the subject verb agreement the verb should be singular so is is used not are i hope you would have got some idea regarding the subject verb agreement now coming back to this question here the subject is the decline in the fortunes of the esteemed royal family of rajpur this is a singular subject here the sentence is talking about the decline suppose the subject was the decline in fortunes and the depletion in respect of the esteemed royal family of rajpur then it is a plural subject here since the subject is singular we must take the verb as singular and the singular form of r is is now if you see the next part that is the second part of the refusal of the there is no error here also in the next part that is members of the family to look for jobs in independent india even here there is no error so the correct answer is option b i hope you have understood the problem it is essential to know the rules of subject verb agreement the errors related to the subject verb agreement are common in this topic let's move on to the next problem the question is in a heated argument with a stranger mohan angrily uttered what kind of a man are you pause the video and try to find the answer well if you have spotted the error that's really good let's see whether the error you have spotted is correct the correct answer is or the error is in section d here it is what kind of a man are you the correct form should be what kind of man are you so here we have to be very precise with the articles whenever there is a word like kind of or sort of it should not be followed by an article here the article is a it should be just what kind of man are you so that's an important point to be noted under this section of articles so when we have words like kind of and sort of we should not use an article afterwards the other part of this question is perfect there are no changes at all i hope you are clear about this problem let's move on to the next question ranveer paid his credit card bill of 10000 rupees in time to avoid extra charges and once again pause the video for a while and try to find the error now let's see the solution and i guess many of you got the answer in this problem the error is in section c it is not in time it is on time this is a prepositional error we use in at and on in the preposition of time we use in to discuss months seasons years centuries general times of the day and longer periods of time such as in the past we use at to discuss clock times holidays and festivals and other very specific time frames including exceptions such as at night we use on to discuss certain days of the week or portions of the days of the week specific dates and special days such as on independence day in this question it represents a deadline which comes under specific dates so we have to use on instead of in so the correct sentence is ranveer paid his credit card bill of 10000 rupees on time to avoid extra charges I hope you have understood this solution. Let's move on to the last question. If a dog wags its tail when it sees its master, then it's a great moment of joy for the master. Pause the video and try to find the error. Okay, I'm sure most of you would have noticed a lot of its in this statement. Yes, there are many. But again, in its there are two variations. One is just its and another is it apostrophe s its is a possessive form of the pronoun it meaning belonging to it it apostrophe s is a contraction of the words it and is to solve this problem just replace its with it is and reread the entire sentence the sentence will turn out to be if a dog wags its tail when it sees its master 
then it is a great moment of joy for the master. This sentence sounds weird, isn't it? As you can notice here, only replacing its by it is in one place makes sense. And that is this part. Now let's replace only this section and let other parts be as it is. The sentence would turn out to be If a dog wags its tail when it sees its master, then it is a great moment of joy for the master. This sounds perfect. In this question, the error is in section C. I hope you have understood how to solve this problem. Now I'll give you one practice question. If you get the answer, please post the answer in the comment. The question is as follows. The roller coaster ride during my last visit to Wanderla Amusement Park in Bengaluru is one of the best experience of my life. Pause the video and try to solve this question. And don't forget to post your answer in the comment section. Alright then, I hope you have all understood all the problems that I have solved. If you have any doubts about our solved problems, please feel free to mention them in the comment section. If you have any other queries related to the placement preparation, you may also post it in the comment. If you felt that this video helped you practice the problem from the chapter on error spotting, then please give a thumbs up to this video by clicking on that like button. If you have not subscribed to our videos, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we post any videos. Also, share this video with your friends and family who are preparing for their placements. You may also follow us on our social media platforms. Thank you everyone. This is Likit Kotyan signing off.